Morning, Georgia. This is Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Hey, thank you again for your inquiry on our Mitsubishi ASX sitting in front of me here uh, for only 24,990 drive away. Look, just thought I'd do a quick virtual tour for you, take you through the car, give you a really good look at the um, absolutely everything that I can basically show you about it. A um, bit of an idea who we are. Obviously, we're Pacific Toyota here in Cairns, so we've got two pre owned vehicle yards up here. Uh, one right here where I'm standing right now at 77 Mulgrave Road and um, another one at 251 Mulgrave Road as well. So we house about probably 200 cars and pump through about that many every month as well. So beauty of it is we get some unreal cars as we um, through here and uh, exactly like this ASX as well. So you can see our two-story showroom up there too. Um, look, we'll get right into it. Like I said, just wanted to take advantage of this to, uh, to, to show everything I could. Any marks, scratches, of service history, you name it. Um, show you exactly what you are looking at with these as we do get the pick of the bunch with them. So we're pretty lucky. But look, we'll start from the front. Uh, as we come down, just a couple of minor sort of stone chips just on the front there itself, there and there, which is exactly what you do expect with the most pre-owned vehicle yards, uh, with cars, sorry. That's just the common ones. A little bit of a scratch just on the inside of that. Looks like they might have just touched on something. Um, if these ones are a concern for you, let me know. And we can actually talk to management and see if we can most possibly even get those touched up for you. So again, just a couple of little sort of uh, two on there as well. And again, just wider ones on the actual bonnet itself. Just those common ones that you always see on, uh, on pre-owned vehicles. So come down the front there, show as much as we can. So obviously that is drive away, that 24,990, so we do absolutely everything for you. Organize the whole lot. Uh, your transfer stamp duties, everything. Again, just a minor one there, but it's always something that we can actually get touched up for you too. Uh, right across the windscreen there as well, so no chips or scratches or anything like that. Uh, I'll just take you down to the um, passenger side front wheel here. So heaps of tread left on these guys. Sorry about the dirt there, but it's just from the test drives. But you can see up under there as well, just how clean that is. So genuine, genuine Mitsubishi uh, alloys on these guys as well. Very well looked after. Just tiny, tiny little sort of chip just on there. But pretty good, no gravel rash or anything like that. Uh, on the actual mirror itself. So these are powerful ones as well. So you can actually tuck those in from the inside of the car. Um, I'll just see. As we come across the roof there. So I was just making sure I had that key there for you. So we've got the key on the inside here. So just one key with that one, genuine Mitsubishi key. It's um, just whatever they hand in and whatever does get traded. So we've got that one there for you. Uh, on the inside of the door handle, just a little couple of sort of fingernail scratches on the inside there from people's rings and things like that. But it's not really noticeable once you actually get up close. Uh, the rest of the driver's door there looks, uh, passenger door there looks very, very tidy. We'll just jump on the inside there as well, show you in here. So these aren't actually tinted on these guys as well, so we can do that here for you in-house. Uh, they're running a sale on those at the moment, but just to let you know, they aren't actually tinted on this at the moment. So I'm just trying to find very tidy across there. A couple of little sort of scuffs on the inside there, just from people jumping in and out and dragging their um, boots, things like that. It's obviously the high traffic areas on the front here. Uh, pretty clean as we go across there. Uh, just onto those seats there too for you. So a little bit dirt in there again, apologies for that. It's just from us um, test driving the cars. So they do get, uh, we get them redetailed for you again before we send it down, or before you take it home. Just gonna show you the service history too. So it uh, was obviously, so King Milk PTY for these guys. Uh, so we'll skip ahead, start services for you. So your Mitsubishi's are every 12 months or 15,000 K, so really easy to look after. Uh, so first one obviously July 2020 at 19,000 kilometers. Uh, next one was the 36 in February 21 and last one by us. So when they come in, if they're due for a service, we get them done. Um, so that way everything sitting on the yard is nice and clean and well looked after. So just recently been serviced. So really good history there. All your manuals and everything are all in there for you too. So as you go across the dash there, so no chips or cracks or anything like that. But just a very well looked after car. So I'll take you around to the back to show you right across that roof there too. So fuel is on the passenger side here as well. So we'll show you how, what the release is for that inside. Tiny little bit of gravel rash just on the inside of that one on the rear passenger. And again, heaps and heaps of tread left on these guys. Oh, pretty clean, eh? So we're pretty lucky with these because these all do get sold in batches with the fleet cars. Um, because we, we do turn over so many cars in one of the biggest pre-owned vehicle yards at the moment. So we, uh, for Toyota, so we, we do get a huge buying power with it, which is great. Just a couple of little sort of very faint marks just on the inside there. You can only sort of see it on the right light. I'll try and get that there for you so you can see. 
But like I said, it's just about being as absolutely honest and transparent as we can with you. Again, just a tiny little sort of scuff there as well on that entry. Seats. So there's 60 40 split with these guys. So you've got that little handle there that's going to drop that one down. And you can do the same with the other side there too. So we've got the child anchor points there, there. So all three uh, seats have got those as well for you. So if you pull the seat belts out of the way, you get a massive, massive amount of storage in there once we close that up. And the rear bumper. So again, just a little sort of minor scuff there. And a little stone chip on the outside. Right, so we come around. So a few little, just luggage ones, just those common ones again. So just minor stone chips there and there. But it shouldn't be anything that we can't get touched up for you, if it is a concern. But just let me know. Uh, so the release for the boots just up under here. So we push that button just up on the inside there for you. Uh, we've got the reverse camera there as well. I'll show you how that all works once we jump inside. Uh, the inside of there looks pretty good. So storage either side of these as well. We've got little tie down points here, here, there, and here as well. So really handy if you've got stuff in the back that obviously you don't want sliding around. Uh, like I said, that, that seat does drop down. Same as the other. So once they're there, you can see a massive, massive amount of uh, boot space there too. So we can pop this one up. So we've got the, the um, 80 kilometer, like the uh, space saver wheels for these ones. So you've got the jagged tools around the outside there too. Looks brand new, hasn't even been used, which is exactly what you want to see. Pop that down for you. As we come around in the back, looking very clean up there. Like I said, just want to show you as much as we can. So just down to that rear driver's side wheel now here, the mags, looking very clean. Miles and miles of tread left on these guys, they have to for the roadworthy, something like that. Uh, very clean across those doors as well. Just some minor sort of fingernail marks again on the inside there. And again, just those sort of scuffing on those main entryways there. That one up for you so you can see the whole inside of the car there. Yeah, so driver side door here, just a minor, minor sort of chip there, and again, just those fingernail marks on the inside. I've got a couple of little scratches just there. I reckon a little bit of could try and clean that up with a little bit of polish. I don't know if it would come out, but we can certainly do our best if it is a concern for you. But just those little ones there, obviously from people with keys, things like that. And just that driver side entry as well. Again, just those same sort of um, marks on the entry there. You can see your build plates there for you. So like I said, fuel is on the passenger side. You've got the release down here for you. And we've got the bonnet release just there. I'm just going to pop that one because I will show you up under that bonnet as well. But extremely tidy. Uh, beauty of these height adjusted seats as well. So you just crank that one up. Short people like myself can crank that right up. And if you're tall, you can place, uh, send it all the way back down as well. So it just gives that better vision over the bonnet. Um, we're going to jump in here and start that up for you. So ignition is just on, obviously on the right hand side. Put on the brake to start that up. Turn that down for you. Okay, so pretty easy, simple. I love Mitsubishi setups. They're really, really nice and simple, but they give you everything you need. So up on the actual steering wheel itself, cruise control setups all over here, on and off with that one, set and reset there. Uh, your Bluetooth controls are here, so your voice commands, answering and hang up, and of course your radio controls are all here for you too. So you can flip between AM, FM, Bluetooth, everything like that from here. This does have Apple CarPlay too, so you can get your USB cord, your charging cord for your phone, plug that into the USBs down there, and actually run the maps off your, the actual, uh, they'll project onto the screen there as well. So you will have to download Apple Car, uh, Android Auto to, to be able to do those, but really handy setup. Uh, they don't do the sat nav in these guys anymore because it's um, they're just outdated and it's a lot more updated on your phone. So a really easy setup. Uh, on the actual, so the headlights themselves, really easy. Parkers, headlights, blinkers, high beams, everything's all there for you. Up on the uh, left hand side, so your wipers are all pretty standard as well. Um, you can see yourself, 52,000, uh, 320,000 k that's 320 k sorry, long day. Um, 52,320 kilometers as it sits right now. So no engine lights or dash lights or anything like that to be concerned about, which is great. As we come down to the driver's side door here, so obviously all your windows are all electric, your driver's side is automatic there for you. You've got window locks to stop the kids in the back or anyone else in the back playing around with them. Central locking is there, so you can lock and unlock that from the car. Um, your mirror controls are up there for you, so again, left side of the car, right side of the car, and you just adjust that as you need to. 
and like I said, they are powerful. So you can push that, it's gonna tuck that in, push it again, it's gonna tuck that back out for which you can see me there too. So really good for shopping centers, things like that. Anywhere where people uh, to stop people walking past and bashing their hands and things like watches and stuff on the, uh, the mirrors, just protects them a little bit better for you. Um, awesome thing about the headlights, you can actually adjust the, the, the angle of them on uh, with this one here. So you can adjust the tilt to show if you're out on um, you know, highways at late at night, anything like that, you can actually rise that up and get a bit more vision out of those, those headlights. Uh, you've got a forward collision monitor there as well, so that's gonna help brake for you too, so you can um, adjust that while you're driving. As we come across, uh, everything up on here is touchscreen for you, super nice and easy to handle. So again, it's just literally touchscreen for you, otherwise you do have your controls down here. So you can adjust your radio stations, jump straight into media, AM, FM, Bluetooth, everything there. That apps button is the one that you want for your um, Apple CarPlay and everything like that. So you just jump straight into there once your phone's plugged in, that will light up for you. Um, otherwise that home button's just gonna bring you back to that same page every time, your multimedia phone, so your Bluetooth text messages, all that sort of stuff is all in there for you too. And again, you can jump into those apps from there as well. As we come down, your hazard lights are just there for you. Aircon controls are here, so your fan speed, temperature, and of course where you want it coming out. USBs, those ones I was talking about are there. Traction control, another accessory plug. Heaps of storage down the bottom here. Um, like I said, you do have that reverse camera up on the back there, so massive, massive camera there. Beauty of these guys is you can actually see the back bumper. So you should never ever back into anything with this car because you can physically see where your car is in relation to it. Um, really nice and handy. Uh, you've got that little back line on the back there that's about a foot away from the back of the car. It just makes it nice and easy for you to back up to the objects behind you. As soon as you come out of reverse, that's going to disappear. Normal handbrake with these guys, cup holders everywhere. And again, heaps of storage and um, another accessory plug in there too, as well as the little coin slot there as well. Just little stuff, but they give you little recesses here, so if you do have any cords coming out here to charge stuff, you don't go crunching the cords. So it's really, really well set up cars, just really well planned and thought, thought it out. Uh, thought it out. <laughs> uh, thought out. That's some good English. So look, <laughs> you got on the inside of these visors. So you got the mirrors and lights on both of those. We'll jump in there on this side there too. Uh, you got the automatic dimmer for the um, for the mirror there as well. And of course you had like the inside lights as you go around. So adjustable handles, um, airbags on the seats, in the dash, in the steering wheel, in the knees, and of course the curtain airbags across the top. So extremely safe cars. Great for families. Great for kids. Great for mates. Um, just yeah, just a really good example. So what we'll do, like I said, I'm just going to jump out real quick, show you under the bonnet before we finish this up for you. As we come around, beautiful day here in Cairns. Try and get this one in. There we go. Uh, like I said, so Mitsubishi MyVec motors in these guys, so it's just their innovative technology, basically. You use as much power as they can for the least amount of fuel. I've been doing that for a little while, and they do it very, very well. So you can see yourself just how well that's been looked after. The factory's obviously just tucked under there for you. Lots of firewalls and everything there as well. So, very, very well looked after car. So look, Georgia, that actually concludes our virtual tour. Thanks for watching. Um, just real quick, you can actually see those DRLs, so the daytime running lights. As soon as the car's on, they're going to be on for you soon. So that look really good there. Look, thanks for watching. Thanks for your inquiry. I very much look forward to hearing from you today. And um, yeah, hope we can help.